Plenty more runs at Blackfinch New Road on day three. The first two days at Blackfinch New Road had been dominated by the bat. Worcestershire, led by Jake Libby and Dolivera, posted a mammoth 455 from their 120 overs. For Glamorgan, Billy Root and Kieran Carlson had shown great composure to steer their side to 181 for two at stumps in reply. As the players returned, Glamorgan's first target would be to pass the follow-on score of 256. They did not get off to the best of starts. Kieran Carson was gone, edging a Joe Leach delivery behind after adding just three runs to his overnight score. It was to be the first of four wickets for the Worcestershire captain. He did for his opposite number in his next over, Cook gone for naught. Root took Glamorgan past 200, but Leach then had Cullen. Douthwaite departed in the next over, caught by Dolivera, attempting the hook as Glamorgan lost four wickets for 18 and still 53 runs shy of the follow-on target. Joe Leach returning figures of four for three in his seven-over spell. But after the carnage of the first hour, Glamorgan steadied things a little at New Road. Billy Roots and Graham Wagg provided the clear heads for the Welsh County as they made it through to lunch without further loss. Root ensured that Worcestershire would have to bat again as they got to the interval on 257 for six. The pair resumed after lunch, looking to close the gap on the Worcestershire total. Billy Root, who had batted the situation perfectly, reached his 100 in the afternoon, his fifth in first-class cricket. Graham Wagg was proving a more than able foil at the other end. The 37-year-old reached his 33rd first-class 50 from 79 balls to take Glamorgan past 300. It was going to take something special to remove Root, and Ben Cox provided that, the keeper clinging on to take a stunning catch as Root tried to deflect a Charlie Morris delivery down to the third-man boundary. Kieran Bull came to the wicket with the score 321 for seven and looking like he was in for a good time, not a long time. Gone for seven, Morris again the bowler and Glamorgan now 329 for eight. Wag was the next to go, his nearly three hour vigil at the crease ended by Ed Barnard for 54. With overs now running out, last pair Tim van der Hoogten and Michael Hogan decided to swing the bat. They did so with great success plundering 41 runs in 6.2 overs before Dylan Pennington ended their fun, Glamorgan all out for 374 on the stroke of T. A good response from the Welsh County to end just 81 runs behind Worcestershire, Billy Root the standout performer with his brilliant 118. Having been in the field for 117 overs, Worcestershire came out in the evening session with openers Jake Libby and Daryl Mitchell looking happy initially to simply bat time. But as the day wore on, the pair began to play their strokes. Mitchell, after his failure in the first innings, no doubt keen to make a big score of his own. The pair were ticking along nicely, with the partnership up to 97 and Libby closing in on another half century. But in the penultimate over of the day, Douthwaite tempted Libby, the edge safely taken by Cook behind the stumps. There was still time for another wicket, night watchman Joe Leach gone for nothing as his side closed on 98 for two. A lead of 179, with the game now virtually safe, will they look to set a quick declaration on day four? The pairs would have been hopeful of skittling Glamorgan after Joe Leach's early four-wicket burst this morning, but Billy Root and Graham Wagg had given their side every opportunity of saving the game heading into the final day.